It is getting powered by World Sports Betting. It is good times. The CEO of Welcome to the NetBank Cup weekend. Uh, a lot of teams are playing. It's the quarterfinals of the NetBank Cup. Chippa United, Sikukune, Kaiser Chiefs, uh, Royal AM, Dondo Stars, uh, Orlando Pirates, and then Mamelodi Sundowns, Stellenbosch. Tomorrow, Stellenbosch are taking on Mamelodi Sundowns. They recently played uh, to a 1 1 draw, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Mamelodi Sundowns have been drawing a lot of matches back to back recently because they've already won the league. I think in the Champions League and in the NetBank Cup, that's when you'll start to see the more serious side of them. But of course, this is not a bicycle. You don't just jump onto it and then start cycling. If you were not building up the habit, you told me this, yeah. if you were not building up the habit of winning in the last three matches, it might affect late game number four. Yaksasa, how do you think about that? How do you feel about that game, Mr. Lembosh, the Sundowns? Mr. Gewunjan Vito, I'm going to say when I'm going to say 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 I'm going to Mr. Gale, uh, you are you know, emphasizing this thing of winning. We have to win. We have to win because, uh, uh, you know, Mr. Gale, if Uzo T so win the league and then you tend to relax, it's going to affect to uh, not now but in the long run. Um, again, remember what they are still with Champions League. So you need to keep that momentum of winning every now and then. You need to win because when you win, you've got confidence. But when you don't win, you always you are not sure. So, Nabo. You know, the past uh, two games, for me, not that uh, Sundowns, they are not doing well. It's just that uh, uh, these teams, they're trying to find a way of dealing with Sundowns because Sundowns are powerful. Yeah, but I got too late, so you, they need to find a way from the beginning of the no, season. No. It's too late to find a way now. Like uh, The thing that Swallows did, yeah. they pulled it off. Yeah. I've been hoping for, chiefs, for teams to pull it off the whole season. Just frustrate the shit out of them. Make them not win some matches. I play league on the final week of yeah. the, the season. No, that's true. But you know, Mr. Gil, the good thing is that uh, I'm going to ask Mr. Gil, Roma is not building one day. <laughs> Look at the Sundowns, they've built this thing for the last 10 years. So that's why it's not easy to really can catch up with them. Mm. So we start slowly but slowly, but we'll get there. So it, it, what they did to Solos, for me, I'm like, okay. Now they can see who go to Lana La, we can catch the sundowns. So it's a build up for them for next season to say, look, last season this is what we did right and it worked for us. So now we keep it that manner, but now let's try and find a way of scoring. Mm. So uh, now, you're telling Bosch, yeah, that's a tough one. That's a tough one, but uh, sundowns will win. It's, it's, for me, sundowns will win. Because I know, I, I love Steve Parker. Also, he frustrate, he frustrate the sundowns, and then he's going to make changes. Mm. Then they'll hammer him. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very, very interesting one because uh, we've seen Steve Parker over the last yeah. four years that we've been covering these matches. He really plays against Chiefs, Sundowns, Pirates. He really plays. Yeah. Sometimes he's got the match by the balls and then he lets it go because of his substitutions. Uh, you know, Kipu Mendieta out of the blue. Uh, on 60 minutes and it's like yo that's your most dangerous option but anyways tomorrow i'm excited because i think they're playing in the western cape estelle and bosch and i really am looking forward to still i think that they're going to score i want them to score because i'm biased those are my people uh, whether or not they're going to win i can't say that they're going to win i'm not that uh, stupid to think that they're going to win we'll see tomorrow i wish that they score one or two goals um kaiser chiefs are taking on um Royal am uh, and i said that to junior that we, they are no longer a Royal AM based on the Chiefs. If you remember that they used yeah. to beat Chiefs, it was always difficult. Yeah. I think that now Chiefs knows how to beat them. Uh, I, I watched them against Marumo Kalans. They were sluggish, they were slow, they were considering too many goals. I didn't see them against Stellenbosch uh, in Royal AM. They won 3 1 uh, in this last weekend that we're coming from. Um, that one, that game is, um, if you were thinking about a 50 50 game, it could go either way yeah. for both sides. What's your attitude towards that game? Mr. Gil, uh, let me put it this way, and I don't know whether people will say I'm harsh or what. Uh, there's no TP. Chiefs, they need to go and win. Uh, they've got players that they can, they can win them. But my word again is that, maybe I can put it to you, maybe ask you a question, Mr. Gil. In, in, in my football career, I've played, now I'm a coach experience that I've got is that the best way to defend is to attack. Mm. So when you're leading 2-1 one or 1-0 one and then you, you take out an attacking player, you put the defensive midfield, what are you saying to the opponents? Mm. And then now, yeah, change the best way to attack 
uh, to defend to attack because the more you attack they're not going to come to you because you're always in their half but uh, it is the problem here is that once they lead then they're thinking about defending what and once it is thinking of defending that's what it's going to concede yeah, score <sighs> Chiefs 2 1. Right. Kaiser Chiefs win for Tsovi <laughs> Lagasi against uh, Royal AM. I think that's going to be an interesting one. There's no way to know some of this game sometimes. Um, the one game that I think is obvious, but of course, football being football in Agmanga, is that Itondo Stars and Orlando Pirates, uh, they're not even supposed to be on the same field because uh, the third division versus Premier Division. But Itondo Stars, Ashai Amazulu, uh, is Super Sport United in the first round. So. <sighs> Anything could happen in football, but still it doesn't change the fact that Orlando Pirates is supposed to beat on those stars. Yes, thank you. I don't remember what year was that when Ama Tax they beat the Chiefs. Ama Tax Aku NFT. Yep. But now, but now this is like the third tier. I know that this has happened before. Abu Baroka defeating yes. Chiefs, Baroka defeating Swallows yes. uh, to go to the, I think, semifinals of the yes. NetBank Cup. Yes. We've seen it before. It doesn't mean that even when it happened at the time, yeah. that those teams were not supposed to. Amazon are not supposed to, to lose to it on those stars. Yes. Uh, Super Sports United is not supposed to lose to it. You can't lose to people who are getting paid. Actually, it's technically, you're not supposed to pay Ama players with ABC Mutsepe League. Because you, as soon as you pay someone an amount of money that is more than the money that they spent to go to this field and enter skate, that's the rule, actually, Yagasafa. If Umpatalumund Imali Edlula, it transport Yake, Nemali Edlula, Ungenebalen, the stadium, Kushugut, that, that's. that's the definition of a professional player. Yeah. If you pay them 1,000, that's already a professional player. But my point is that if Ukabuza umpatala 100,000, for example, and then Uzodliwa umuntu opatala 550 rand, then, I mean, where, what are we doing? Where are we here? They're not supposed to lose to it on those stars, but they did. Amazon, Ashayo, Super Sport now, Ashayo. And all of these professional players lost to semi-professional or unprofessional players or amateur players. Uh, what do you think? Tomorrow at 3 p.m. we're going to be here to cover Don Stars against Orlando Paris. I think Orlando Paris should beat Don Stars. I watched both of those matches. Uh, I still feel like they were not supposed to lose those games. Um, even Amazon, I think it went to penalties as well. Yeah. Um, what do you think is going to happen tomorrow? Is there any sniff of an upset? Any Any tiny thing in percentage for you to say there could be an upset tomorrow uh mr Gil, my, my 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 worry here it's it's it's, it's players uh because if if it can beat amazulu can beat a, a super sport then now you look at but players pound to pound how could they match you it's for me it's a no no they, those players they can't match ama players a, a pirates or mazulu or super sport pound to pound but now if those players they can match them in play and win against mazulu and super sport then it's something there's something that they're doing it right so pirates should be 3 zero done finish uh, show them these are young, the young boys. They can play beautiful football. I, I, I watch them. They play beautiful football and you, you love watching them. Uh, but when it comes to the stage, now they need to see, you know, uh, there's, there's boys, there's men. So I may look at to me. So tomorrow, Paris, they need to go in and winter zero, no doubt. Yeah, I, I think so too. No I think so too. However, football is football. We'll be here tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, we'll cover two matches. Sundowns at 6 p.m. We'll play against Stellenbosch. Before that, on Saturday tomorrow, uh, Itondo Stars will take on Orlando Paris. I think that game is in Pulukwane. And then on Sunday, we'll come here at 6 p.m. to cover Kaiser Chiefs against Royal AM. I'm excited because it's not the league. Uh, you know, the league is getting to a point where it's boring because we know who won and teams are not playing that serious. The only teams that are serious are the ones at the bottom, and some of them, they, they lose the matches. This weekend is the Net Bank Cup. Wafa, wafa, anyone could, you know, be eliminated from the tournament. So all the best for the teams. It's TV, it's times, what's was betting.